Right now, Hurricane Irma is starting to impact the Caribbean islands, including the Bahamas and Virgin Islands. And here's a live look right now. This is St. Thomas, part of the U.S. Virgin Islands. The storm is packing winds upwards of 180 miles per hour and could surge. It could top 10 feet. The storm is expected to cause widespread flooding. Puerto Rico is also bracing for some impact later today. The island already beginning to feel the impact this morning. Hurricane Irma is picking up steam as it barrels through the Caribbean there. But today, millions along the U.S. East Coast are bracing for that potentially catastrophic Category 5 storm. Gabe Gutierrez is in the Florida Keys with this update. Overnight, Hurricane Irma blasting through the Caribbean, making its first landfall over Barbuda. The wind, the rain, everything is going into that direction. And this morning, all of Florida is under a state of emergency as the Category 5 behemoth races toward the U.S. Incredible NASA images showing the monster storm. Officials warning this one is serious. This is not getting smaller, it's getting bigger. Get prepared. Prepare now. Stock up on emergency supplies. It's now the most powerful Atlantic storm on record, and the frantic scramble to get out of harm's way is already on. The Florida Keys closing schools and evacuating tourists. The quicker we get out of here, the better. Miami-Dade County could start its own evacuations as early as today. How worried are you about the storm? Extremely worried. I mean, on a scale of 1 to 10, probably 13. Bottled water already hard to find. There's no water, so we have to go somewhere else for the water. There's a rush on gas, plywood brought in by the truckload. How many loads for you today? Too many. We can't take no chances. We got to just, you know, get prepared. Hurricane hunters help map Irma's every move. Like previous monster storms Hugo, Floyd, and Ivan, Irma is what's known as a classic Cape Verde hurricane formed off the west coast of Africa. They're typically among the most intense. The National Hurricane Center calls Irma potentially catastrophic. The potential is too great for us not to take action right now. Many Florida residents say this storm is stirring up memories of Hurricane Andrew, which slammed into Florida 25 years ago last month. 7,000 members of the state's National Guard are now on alert. Gabe Gutierrez, NBC News, Isla Morada, Florida. Those evacuations in the Florida Keys started this morning. All the tourists are first to leave, followed by those who live there. This is proving to be an active hurricane season, too. Right behind Irma is Tropical Storm Jose, now taking shape at the Atlantic. It's also gaining strength and could be a hurricane by Thursday. Too early to know exactly where Jose is headed, but just like Harvey and Irma, we are keeping a close eye on that one. We're going to bring you any updates as that path becomes clearer in the days ahead.